In this lesson, we are going to analyze a RLC circuit. Okay, we have analyzed an RC circuit. We have analyzed a RL circuit. Now we are looking at a RLC series circuit. Okay, so I've got a resistor which is connected in series with a, let's say, inductor which is connected in series with a capacitor. Okay. And you have a certain AC voltage across these guys. Okay, so something like this is what we have. We need to find out what is the current flowing in this particular circuit. Okay, this is the instantaneous current which I'm assuming is flowing in this particular direction. Okay, let's just say my voltage is equal to Vm sine omega t. Okay. And I'm having a resistance of R, inductance of L and capacitance of C. Okay. If you can understand or analyze a RLC circuit, then you can also pretty well understand a RC circuit because RC circuit is essentially a RLC circuit with L equal to zero, right? Similarly, a RL circuit is essentially a RLC circuit with C equal to zero. Okay. And you can also analyze a R or rather an LC circuit, which is essentially a RLC circuit with R equal to zero. Right. So if you can find out current in terms of your voltage, your resistance, your L and your C, then you can analyze a RC circuit, RL circuit and LC circuit. Okay. If it is a RC circuit, you are simply going to put L equal to zero in this function. If it is a RL circuit, you are simply going to put C equal to zero. And if it is a LC circuit, you are simply going to put R equal to zero in this function. Okay. So we are looking for this function of V, R, L and C that determines the current at any given time in this circuit. Okay. So let's begin analyzing. Okay. I'll just remove everything for the moment. We are supposed to find out the current. Okay. I know my current is simply voltage upon the impedance. Okay. Now what is the impedance of this particular circuit? You have a resistor, its impedance is simply R. Okay, let's use a different color. Its impedance is simply R. You have a inductor, its impedance is simply J omega L. And you have a capacitor whose impedance is simply minus J upon omega C, right? So your net impedance of this particular circuit is simply R plus J omega L minus J upon omega C. Okay. I can also write this as R plus J into omega L minus one upon omega C. Okay. It is essentially a complex number whose real value is this and whose imaginary value is this. Okay. Or real term is this and imaginary term is this. Okay. So you can express it like this. Okay. You're going to have a R over here. Okay. You're going to have omega L minus one upon omega C along your imaginary axis. Okay. If your omega L is greater than one upon omega C, then obviously omega L minus one upon omega C is going to be greater than zero. And this term would be positive. Okay. And it's going to be something like this. Okay. It's going to be omega L minus one upon omega C and it's going to be positive. Okay. If however, your omega L is less than one upon omega C, then your omega L minus one upon omega C is going to be less than zero. Okay. This term would be less than zero, which basically means you're going to have your R like this, but 